Hey Columbus, uh, Paul Hammer, owner of the Ace Handyman Franchise Group here in Columbus. Um, I just wanted to share about the ice and, and gutters. We've all seen it around there. Uh, a few pointers and uh, maybe what to watch out in your basement uh, in the next few weeks. So uh, here are some pictures. You probably uh, have seen this at your own house or your neighbors. Uh, a lot of water frozen off gutters and even frozen in downspouts and pouring over, freezing onto uh, the shrubbery. So. Um, you know, what's going on here is it hasn't been above freezing for several weeks, I think at least six weeks. Um, and your roof gets warm during the day, either from sunlight or from uh, some heat escaping from your living area in your house going up in the attic. And so the, the snow obviously melts, runs into your gutters, and then that, those are below freezing. And so, uh, you know, right here in Columbus, everybody's gutters have, have uh, filled up and, and frozen. So all that water has been pouring over and then freezing as it comes down. Uh, downspouts have frozen and further backed things up. So uh, you might actually have some uh, water backing into your house. Um, if that's never happened, you know, this is, I don't know if it's a one in a 10 year or one in a 20 year, but this doesn't happen all the time. Usually uh, we get some warm days and it really all melts off and, and the water goes away. But um, you know, ice damming is something. If you if it actually happens more than more often, uh, contact a qualified roofer because that's uh, ventilation and insulation issues in in your home and and uh, maybe even some flashing and, and whatnot. But uh, you know, this uh, downspout here probably froze in the ground and it backed up. Um, you know, it it could be clogged. So after everything it thaws out and drains away. Um, you can run a, a, a hose through this downspout. You can take the downspout off and put a hose down and make sure water is going to the street. If it's not, then um, then you would need to get that serviced and, and fixed. So, but all this uh, all this water is gonna or snow is gonna turn into water, and it's uh, if you've got a basement, it's gonna head that way. So, um, you know, a tip I always like to give this basement uh, watchdog is kind of like a smoke detector. Um, it's got these two sensors here, and when water crosses across both of them, it, uh, the current then connects and it causes it to an alarm, uh, kind of like a smoke detector. So it's a 9-volt battery in there. You just place it right on the ground next to your sump pump. So if water backs up and starts uh, you know, out onto the concrete, then this would alarm off. Now, they have all kinds of other ones, of smart homes and whatnot. Um, the, you can... Um, also contact if you've got a security system in your house a lot of times they'll have a plug-in where you can uh, have that sensor and it plugs into your into your system so you would get an alert on your phone or or a phone call um, if you have a water backup so um, just take a take care of your basement in the next uh, several weeks of spring uh, the spring rains are probably coming too so a good time to check that um, check the battery if you have something like this uh, but go to acehardware.com. You can order these. Um, check out your local Ace store and uh, give us a call if you need any help. So uh, good luck, and uh, we're looking forward to spring. So less than 30 days away.